1968 Ford 5000 tractor. Some of the things that I've done on this thing, replace the headlights with LEDs, got new three rib tires on the front. The rear tires were in good shape when I got her, so haven't touched much of that. They are filled. I believe it's a salt brine from the way it looks. Had to do a lot of cleanup here. New starter, had to clean out the carburetor and rebuild it, all new seals there. Hoses, distributor now runs 12 volts and it uses a Petronix electronic ignition much more reliable and since it's not a six volt system I get a much hotter spark. Love this battery tray. That battery is probably about 80 pounds and it just pulls out like it was butter. That's usually where the voltage regulator goes. We've replaced it with a real fuse box. I've got circuits here for all the lights, the ignition, things like that. Um, if one blows, a little red light comes on, shows me which one's blown. I redid all the wiring. This is probably the messiest part right here. Everything else is in this nice split loom tubing all the way around. Didn't use the regular wires. Um, I couldn't find the ones that had the plugs that fit nicely into the socket, so I do have to be careful about water getting in there, but it stays pretty dry under here. Most of this stuff all looked like this when I got it. Um, a little bit of paint here and there, but mostly it's the way it came. Even the hoses for the remotes, those are the original hoses, just cleaned up. Um, had to replace the fluids a few times to flush it all out, but for the most part it worked. Added a few things here. It's a new headlight switch. There's a switch for the rear work lights, a switch for the forward work lights. Instrument panel is original, but completely rebuilt. I had to pull it all apart and reseal it all. Right now, she's wearing the snowblower on the back. This is a Provenost uh, PINV80. Does a fantastic job in the snow. Basically, you drive this sucker forward, the augers push the snow to the middle, and then the impeller in there throws the snow out the chute and even with heavy wet snow it was throwing it a good 15 20 feet i had to modify this area a little bit those two connectors there are the original two well they're not the original but they um that's where the original uh connectors were and what i did is i added this box here that splits them this little yellow lever here up for the top set down for the bottom set and allows me to control both the rotation and the angle of the chute on the blower. In the summer months I just have my hydraulic top link on when I'm running the grader. We'll shovel over here to help dig out the snow blower if it clogs up. Um, it's happened once only because I was learning and I had the RPMs a little too low. Oh well, it happens. I can balance out the three point with this crank here works really really well um, not binding up at all and as long as I don't have too much weight on it it's pretty easy to spin on this side you can see we've replaced the generator with an alternator that's the power steering pump little story about the power steering. I had to pull this whole front end apart. The power steering pump is buried down under the bottom there. And uh, it had some leaking seals and had to pull all that apart. Fun time. The seat is relatively new, although it's correct for this tractor. The original one was cracking, all that kind of stuff. Up top, I got my work lights. 
on all four corners in the back. Strobes are on either side. Lights up the tractor really well. This original tail light does work. Uh, took a lot of effort to get that cleaned up and the electrics working, but um, well worth it and it, uh, it's very visible. Could not get the blinker to work. And if you notice, uh, <laughs> my son got one of the sockets stuck underneath here. He finally learned that there's a proper size for sockets. Unbelievable how tight that thing's on there. Can't get it off. And that's pretty much it. 1968 Ford 5000. She was born September 24th, 1968. That's when she rolled off the lot. And uh, here it is in 2020 and she's still running strong.